His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa received today at Sakir Palace Thai Prime Minister General Prayat chan o who is currently on an official visit to the kingdom. Also present were His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The Thai guest conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of His Majesty King Vajira Longkorn of Thailand and his wishes of further progress and prosperity for Bahrain and its people. His Majesty King Hamid asked the Thai Premier to convey his best wishes to His Majesty the King of Thailand and for his people hopes of continued development. He said the visit of the Thai Prime Minister marks another chapter of enhancing joint cooperation, commending the efforts of General Praya Chanacha in further strengthening Bahraini-Thai relations. The meeting reviewed ways of bolstering cooperation in the economic, commercial, investment and cultural and tourism fields in line with agreements between the two countries. His Majesty the King expressed Bahrain's keen interest to promote relations with Thailand and expand partnerships in both public and private sectors. He noted the importance of official and business visits to the development of bilateral ties. He also asserted the necessity of promoting relations between the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, the GCC, and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, especially in the areas of politics, economy, investments and culture, in addition to working on increasing commercial exchange volumes on both sides. He further said the GCC and ASEAN share a lot in common, as they both belong to strategic regions of international commercial and economic importance. His Majesty praised the achievements that have been made by Thailand in its economy, development and culture, highlighting its positive role in its Asian surroundings. He also commended the fruitful role of the Thai community and their contributions to the development process of Bahrain. The Thai Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for the warm hospitality and welcome he has received and commended the role of His Majesty the King in strengthening bilateral ties. He thanked His Majesty for his care and support to the Thai community members, asserting his country's keenness to expand fields of cooperation with Bahrain. He also hailed Bahrain's achievements and economic growth, as well as its efforts in serving its people.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gurebia Palace Thai Prime Minister General Prayut Chanacha, in line with the official visit he is conducting in response to an invitation from His Royal Highness. Upon his arrival, an official reception was held for the Thai Prime Minister, during which the Royal Thai Anthem and Baha'i's National Anthem were played. After that, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and his Thai counterpart inspected the Guards of Honour who lined up for salute. Then the Thai Prime Minister greeted Bahrain's ministers and officials, and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister greeted the Thai delegation.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed confidence that the visit of his Thai counterpart will add a new dimension to the bilateral relations of friendship and cooperation. He said Bahraini Thai relations have become a model for relations between states as they are based on mutual respect and achieving joint interests. He expressed keen interest to reinforce joint cooperation in the commercial and investment fields as well as the field of food security. His Royal Highness highlighted the development of Thailand in all fields, which paves the way for exchanging expertise, recalling the contributions of the Thai community in the development process of Bahrain. The meeting reviewed regional and international developments and asserted that more cooperation amongst GCC and ASEAN countries is needed to reinforce security and stability, in addition to enhancing Gulf Asian cooperation. The Thai Prime Minister, meanwhile, said His Royal Highness the Prime Minister is a symbol for wise leadership, who is appreciated and respected internationally. He congratulated His Royal Highness for being honoured by the Arab League for his developmental accomplishments in Bahrain. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness to promote bilateral relations, as well as his care to support Gulf Asian ties, confirming that Bahrain is considered the best friend for Thailand in the region, thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. Then official talks were held between the sides chaired by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Thai Premier, General Prayat Chanucha. They agreed on increasing economic, commercial and investment cooperation and to develop joint projects between both countries' private sectors. They also agreed to reinforce cooperation in the fields of agricultural, health, education, tourism, transport and communications, as well as increased cooperation in international forums on various regional and global issues. The foreign ministers of Bahrain and Thailand were assigned to follow up through the Joint Supreme Committee between the two countries. The meeting also assigned the relevant ministers to activate the work of the existing agreements, memorandums of understanding and executive programs, totaling up to 26 agreements and MOUs. Both sides noted the importance of the meeting in supporting bilateral relations and the keenness to strengthen them in the political, economic and trade fields. The two sides exchanged views on the mechanisms to promote joint cooperation in the fields of trade, investment and tourism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that Bahraini-Thai relations are always developing due to the desire of both sides. The Thai Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his generous hospitality and for his support of Thai Gulf relations. He also expressed admiration of the development of Bahrain witnesses, noting Bahrain's support to host Thailand's Gulf Asian Ministerial Meeting this year and its initiative to host the Asian Cooperation Secretary's Meeting this year. General Rayo Chan, Butcha, and Mota, Rais Wudara, Mamilaka Thailand, Australia. The Sardina at the Hayf in Mahalikum, where Wotan Rapa, when the Arab were hand, bad at the Rurana, behind his Yara at the Deep Natalau, and Tuskim who feed at his and Arafat. والترافق بين بلدينا وشعبينا الصديقين. ونؤكد حرص مملكة البحرين على تطوير التعاون في مختلف الأصعدة وسعينا الدعم للتنسيق في القضايا الأقليمية والدولية ذات الاهتمام المشترك. نتطلع إلى دوام التقدم والازدهار لبلدينا متمنيا لكم طيب الإقامة في مملكة البحرين. การปฏิบัติการนี้นะครับทางด้านขวามือ
ขั้นตอนปรมาภิไนนะครับก็คือว่าการทำตาหารประเทศ Allow me to introduce the member of my leadership on my right hand. This is Dr. Abhinandi, and he's from the past. Abhinandi, Chandra Paul, and he's from the past. Next, next, Abhinandi, Chandra Paul, and he's from the commerce. Next, Mr. Chiapan, and he's from the doctor in Thailand, and he's from the doctor in Thailand. Next, Mr. Chiapan, and he's from the doctor in Thailand, and he's from the doctor in Thailand. Next, Mr. Panjarak Punsalti, that becomes the Secretary Minister, Minister of Foreign Affairs. ในเกิดการเลื่อนจำนงมาที่ดีกรมเอเชียใต้ตะวันออกกลางแอฟริกา Next, Mr. Kurt Pan, Nerf จำนง Director General of Department of South Asian, Middle East and African Affairs, Minister of Foreign Affairs. รองศาสตราจารย์ดรชูชาติชักุลอธิการบดีมหาวิทยาลัยสงขลานาครินทร์ And the associate professor Chu Sang Lim School, the the dean of the University of Sung Ha Nang Chun. Nam Chai, Nam Kho Dek, Nam Chai Sa Lek Kalaya, Nam Tri Vang Kang Sung Mate, Nam Tha Kon. On my left, Jenon Chak Chai Sa Lek Kalaya, Minister of Agriculture and Rural Affairs. My right, Pia Sa Kon, Sa Kon Sa Lek Kalaya, Nam Tri Vang Kang Sung Sa Thara Sum. Mr. Pia Sa Kon, Sa Kon Sa Lek Kalaya, Minister of Public Health. คนเอกวิลาศอรุณศรีเลขาธิการนายกรัฐมนตรีจันทร์วิลาศอรุณศรีสเปเชียลชโนว์ทูเดอะพรีเมียร์มิสเตอร์ในช่วงนี้แก้วแสงรองเลขาธิการนักการส่งเสริมการลงทุนมิสเตอร์โชคดีแก้วแสงดัชนีสเปเชียลชโนว์ทางด้านบอร์ดของอินเวสท์เมนต์นายบุญจริตกัลยาณมิตรอธิบดีกรมเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญจริตกัลยาณมิตรเอกเลขาธิการเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศมิสเตอร์บุญจริตกัลยาณมิตรเอกเลขาธิการเจรจาการค้าระหว่างประเทศนักสาวจุฬาพงศ์มีนรักผู้สูงอายการของเกษตรกรกรอันอัลเซอร์แมทเทอร์มิสเตอร์จูลอบดีคิสชีสเตย์ดีซีนอฟฟิเชียลฟอร์มมิมิสต์ออฟฟิคอลเจนโอเปอเรทิฟส์ขอบคุณในคำกล่าวต้อนรับนะครับผู้สูงอายการอย่างยิ่งที่ได้มาเยือนตั้งจังหวัดบาเรนตามคำเชิญของท่านอาจารย์วันนี้ได้เห็นการพัฒนาของบาเรนด้านด้วยความชื่นชมอย่างยิ่งนะครับแล้วก็เห็นด้วยตาสวยในครั้งนี้ Your Royal Highness Distinguished Delegates and Gentlemen, uh, thank you for your very warm welcome. It is a privilege for me to visit uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain uh, to see all kind of development uh, on my own. ในนามของรัฐบาลและจากไทยคณะผู้แทนไทยรู้สึกทราบซึ่งในพระกรุณาธิคุณของท่านยมตีและขอบคุณรัฐบาลบาเรนนะครับในการต้อนรับผมและคณะผู้แทนไทยอย่างขอบคุณมีผู้ไปดีในแบบที่ On behalf of the Thai government. And the Thai delegation, I wish to express my sincere appreciation to your Royal Highness, the Prime Minister of Bahrain, and of course uh, to the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain for the very warm welcome and kind hospitality sent to me and to the Thai delegation. ตลอดเวลาที่ผ่านมานั้นบาเรนแสดงความเป็นพิแท้และเป็นพิธีสำคัญของไทยในภูมิภาคตะวันออกกลางครับดังนั้นการเยือนบาเรนเป็นประเทศแรกในภูมิภาคนี้หรือเป็นการตอบแทนถึงความสำคัญและความเป็นที่ระหว่างไทยกับบาเรนและในโอกาสว่าสำคัญทุกรอบ40ปีมีของการสามารถปฏิบัติงานที่ตลอดมาทั้งสองประเทศ Throughout the years, Bahrain has been Thailand's true and important friend in the Middle East. My visit to Bahrain as the first country in the region today will exert the great importance and the strength of friendship between Thailand and Bahrain. Moreover, this year is also the auspicious occasion at the mark the 40th anniversary of the establishment of the diplomatic relation between our two countries. ผมมีความยินดีและเป็นเกียรติครับที่ได้มีการร่วมเป็นประธานในการประชุมแต่งตั้งครั้งนี้ก็เป็นโอกาสที่ทุกฝ่ายจะทบทวนในประเด็นที่มีความสำคัญความร่วมมือที่เกิดขึ้นแล้วแล้วก็หาความร่วมมือได้ใหม่ๆที่จะเกิดขึ้นสามารถทำได้จะมีร่วมกันได้ในอนาคต I am honored to co-chair the East Anime Meeting, where we can visit upon what has been done throughout the years and charter the course for our future cooperation. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the Prime Minister of Thailand, a protocol that amends some provisions of the Convention for the Avoidance of Double Taxation between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of Thailand was signed by Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and Thai Foreign Minister Don Pramodwinai. A memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Thai Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives was signed in the field of agricultural cooperation. 
The MOU was signed by Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Issam Khalaf, and Thai Minister of Agriculture and Cooperatives, General Chachai Surikulia. An MOU was also signed between the University of Bahrain and Prince of Songkhai University, which was inked by UOB President Dr. Riyad Hamza and the Thai University's President, Assistant Professor Chaksak Limsakol. After that, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister held a lunch banquet in honour of the Thai Prime Minister and his accompanying delegation, which was also attended by senior state officials. At the end of the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the Thai Prime Minister issued a joint statement between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Thailand on the occasion of the Thai Prime Minister's official visit. At the invitation of His Royal Highness Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain, Prince, Salman bin, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, his Excellency General Prayat Chanacha, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand, paid an official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain from the 24th to 25th of April 2017. His Excellency the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand was accompanied by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Commerce, the Minister of Public Health, the Minister of Agriculture and Cooperatives, the Deputy Secretary General of the Board of Investment of Thailand and senior government officials. The visit coincided with the 40th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Thailand. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain, graciously granted an audience to His Excellency General Prayat Chanacha on the 25th of April 2017. His Excellency the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand expresses deep appreciation to the Government of Bahrain for supporting Thailand at both bilateral and multilateral levels. His Excellency the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand also reiterated Thailand's determination to further strengthen the excellent relations between the two kingdoms. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain also graciously granted an audience to His Excellency the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand on the 25th of April 2017, during which the two sides discussed key bilateral, regional and global issues and expressed their desire to further enhance the partnership between the two countries. Prior to the meetings, there were two bilateral meetings between the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the two countries and between the Public Health Minister of Thailand and the Minister of Health of Bahrain. The two sides attach great importance to this official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain, which also marks the first visit of His Excellency the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand to the Middle East. The visit reflects the priority of the Kingdom of Thailand placed on deepening bilateral, bilateral ties and also provides a good opportunity to further expand and advance bilateral cooperation in all areas. An official meeting chaired by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain and His Excellency the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand was held on the 25th of April 2017 at Al Ghadibiya Palace. The meeting was held in a cordial and friendly atmosphere and was marked by a spirit of friendship, mutual respect and understanding, reflecting the close bond between the two countries. The two sides expressed their satisfaction with the current level of bilateral ties and took note of the continued mutual support received. The two sides emphasised the need to deepen and enhance their excellent bilateral cooperation and reaffirmed their common aspiration to further promote joint cooperation. The two sides exchanged views of, on topics of mutual interest, including political and economic affairs, human security, public health, food security and energy security, aviation and sustainable urbanisation, 
as well as regional and international issues, including the promotion of peace, stability and prosperity at the regional and global levels. The two sides discussed current political developments in each country and took note of the positive steps in this respect. Both leaders expressed their full confidence in the success of Thailand's path towards democracy and Bahrain's ongoing democratic development. The two sides reaffirmed the importance of their bilateral High Joint Commission and agreed to hold the third High Joint Commission meeting in Bahrain in 2017, at a date to be mutually agreed through diplomatic channels. The two sides noted the potential of their respective economies, agreed to encourage their investors to foster closer economic and trade linkages. The Bahraini side took positive note of Thailand's developments in projects such as the Eastern Economic Corridor, the EEC, and the Special Economic Zones, the SEZs, as well as Thailand's economic potential to be Bahrain's gateway to ASEAN and the East Asia region, especially after the establishment of the ASEAN Economic Community, the AEC, in 2015, which has greatly amplified Thailand's economic and people-to-people -people linkages within the region. Thailand has been promoting the policy of Thailand and ASEAN in advancing economic activities with trade partners and invites Bahrain to explore similar approaches. The Thai side commended Bahrain's progressive economic policy as articulated in Bahrain's Government Plan of Action 2015 to 2018 and Bahrain's Vision 2030, which has promoted Bahrain's prosperity and the well-being of the people of Bahrain. In addition, the Thai side commended the role of the Economic Development Board of Bahrain in promoting investment and enhancing economic growth. The two leaders were satisfied with the increase of tourist flow and the promotion of two-way tourism and medical tourism, recognizing the benefits mutually gained from promoting medical tourism amongst Bahraini tourists Thailand reiterate, reiterated her willingness to maintain the 90-day visa exemption scheme for GCC nationals travelling to Thailand for medical purposes. Recognising the impact on national development and security of transnational crime involving human trafficking and narcotic drugs, both sides agreed to take necessary steps to develop comprehensive means to address these issues. The two sides recognised the benefits of exchanges in the healthcare and medical professions and specialists and agreed to encourage both such exchanges at both the government level and at the private sector levels. Both sides also agreed to establish corridors in public health cooperation. Furthermore, both sides affirmed that a plan of action will be drawn up in order to maximize the use of existing memorandum of understanding on health cooperation between Thailand and Bahrain. The Thai side took note of Bahrain's interest in enhancing cooperation in public health, such as Bahrain's visiting doctors program and joint medical research. In this connection, Thailand expressed her readiness to offer expertise and cooperation in this field to Bahrain. As a concrete preliminary step before pursuing more comprehensive cooperation in the area, the Thai side will promptly dispatch military medical personnel to support Bahrain's endeavour to promote public health. The two sides also exchanged views on regional and multilateral issues and expressed deep concern on the ongoing violence and the deteriorating situation in the Middle East, especially in Syria and Yemen. The two sides of, were of the view that the international community should work urgently to address the situation in these countries, particularly at the humanitarian level, to reduce the suffering of civilians. Furthermore, the two sides shared the view that the Middle East continues to play a crucial role in maintaining global peace and stability. The two sides denounced terrorism in all of its forms and manifestations, regardless of its motives or goals. They called for serious actions to confront the threat of terrorism and reconfirmed their desire to strengthen their cooperation at both the bilateral and multilateral levels to combat terrorism and the financing of terrorism. In this context, Thailand welcomes the role played by Bahrain in joining the international coalition in operations against international terrorism. The two sides stress the importance of further promoting ASEAN-GCC relations. Thailand is pleased to serve as the current ASEAN-GCC coordinator for ASEAN and looks forward to working with Bahrain as the coordinator for the GCC. Both sides agreed to revitalize the ASEAN-GCC cooperation and explore the possibility of organizing ASEAN-GCC ministerial meetings within 2017. The two sides expressed satisfaction with the positive developments of the Asian Cooperation Dialogue, the ACD, and agreed to work closely together to strengthen the ACD framework and process. The Bahraini side commended the success of the second ACD summit held in Bangkok in October 2016, where leaders and high-level representatives had constructive discussions on the shared future of the regions. During the summit, ACD members agreed to work together to achieve the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The Thai side expressed its appreciation that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain paid an official visit to Thailand to attend the second ACD summit 
and made a significant contribution to the development of the ACD, in particular Bahrain's announcement to be co-prime mover in five pillars of ACD cooperation. The two sides expressed their readiness to continue supporting each other's global roles and candidatures in the international arena. The Thai side expressed its support of Bahrain's candidature for a non-permanent seat in UNSC for the term 2026 to 2027. The following agreement and memorandum of understanding were signed during the visit. A protocol amending the convention between the government of the Kingdom of Thailand and the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain for the avoidance of double taxation and the prevention of fiscal evasion with respect to taxes on income. Two, a memorandum of understanding on agriculture cooperation between the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives of the Kingdom of Thailand and the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture of the Kingdom of Bahrain. And three, a memorandum of understanding between Prince Songkla University and University of Bahrain. His Excellency the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand expressed his deep appreciation for the warm welcome and generous hospitality accorded to him and the Thai delegation during his visit. His Excellency the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Thailand extended a formal invitation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain to visit the Kingdom of Thailand at mutually convenient dates. <coughs> Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Education and Training Development, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, met at his office in Gudebiya Palace today, the General Director of the Arab Education Office, Dr. Abu Khalik Al Qurani, as well as a number of ex-ministers and officials taking part in the The Role of the Teacher in Educational Efficiency seminar. Also present was Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Al Noemi. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak confirmed the importance of the issues discussed during the seminar, which shed light on the role of teachers and ways of further polishing their skills in order to provide the best education for students. He pointed out that Bahrain has made large strides in developing the skills of its teachers through the establishment of the Teachers College, which is one of the initiatives of the Education and Training Development Project that has enabled the Kingdom to graduate many generations of qualified teachers. The audience meanwhile thanked the Deputy Premier for meeting with them and commended Bahrain's rapid development and progress in the field of education and specifically in teacher training. Deputised by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, today opened three exhibitions at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Centre, namely the Gulf Property Show 2017, Gulf Interiors Exhibition and Gulf Construction Expo. On this occasion, the Deputy Premier expressed pride in opening these exhibitions on behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, noting his keenness to patronise such annual events which reflect keen interest in the construction sector. He added that the draft law for the organisation of the real estate sector is likely to add stability and organisation to the sector and its related careers, adding that the government's referral of the draft law to the legislative authority reflects its continuous follow-up of legislature and its vision in dealing with such a dynamic sector. The Deputy Premier commended all of the efforts of the organisers, hailing the role of the sector in supporting the specialised exhibition industry. He welcomed the participation of the exhibitors representing 25 countries, who will be able to present their projects and products to all expected visitors. Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah highlighted that these exhibitions represent an opportunity for local and Gulf markets to promote projects in the construction, real estate and interior design sectors. For his part, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Al Halal Conference and Exhibition Company, Anwar Abdurrahman, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronising the exhibition and to the Deputy Prime Minister for attending on his behalf. He also expressed pleasure in the support the exhibition receives from His Royal Highness, which affirms his support of the private sector, which helps him carry out his developmental role and social responsibility to support the national economy. A dedicated boutique showcase for real estate and property development, the Gulf Property Show highlights present and future developments in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Northern Gulf, providing the opportunity to promote Bahrain's property assets as well as regional and international opportunities for investors in commercial and residential real estate. Uh, this exhibition is very specialized uh, exhibition uh, from the point of view that it's uh, three exhibition under one roof. It's a very smart way of uh, exhibiting uh, product, uh, exhibiting uh, uh, housing, uh, exhibiting projects. Bahrain's strategic location as a commercial gateway. Saudi Arabia, the region's most important strategic market, is just 25 kilometers away, providing investors, developers and property professionals with the opportunity to visit the show conveniently. 
The significance of this event is what you can see around you. It is in Bahrain the largest one-stop shop for the property, interiors and the construction sector. It's a marriage of three uh, disciplines which are basically correlated. So you need to buy a house, you need to decorate it, you need to repair it. So all the sorts of suppliers that you would be looking for are all in the same space. The growing property investor demands of the Middle East and other Gulf countries are important for investment that offers tremendous business opportunities. Gulf Property Show one of the biggest uh, uh, property exhibition in Bahrain and uh, we always uh, be interested to participate as a, spon as a sponsor and uh, exhibitor uh, as uh, we always get a very good interest uh, from the buyers and end users. Uh, the big number of end users that will be actually uh, coming and uh, to buy whether apartments or uh, villas or plots. The Gulf Property Show will continue until April 27 here at Bahrain International Convention and Exhibition Center. For Bahrain News, I'm Shog Mohammed. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mola, chaired today the Council's weekly meeting, during which they approved the four week extension requests of the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission. Financial and Economic Affairs Committee, Foreign Affairs and Defence and National Security Committee, Services Committee, Public Utilities and Environment Committee, Parliamentary Women and Children Affairs Committee, and the Parliamentary Committee for Youth and Sports. The Council also approved a statement regarding communications between some foreign embassies and possible candidates for the 2018 Representatives Council elections. The Standing Committee meeting on Economic and Sustainable Development Asian Parliamentary Assembly held its first meeting in Bahrain today, with two topics on the agenda. The topic of ensuring efforts for economic growth and the role of parliaments of the Asian Parliamentary Assembly, the APA, in adopting legislation in support of the implementation of sustainable development goals. The committee began with a speech delivered by Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah. Held, he held a presentation and discussed the progress report of the APA Secretary General regarding the implementation of current decisions and discussion of any proposals by member parliaments. The committee called on APA member states to ratify the final document of the United Nations Summit to establish the post-2015 developmental framework. It also called on member states to review and assess legislative opportunities and gaps to engage the private sector in infrastructure development and participate in formulating national policies. The committee urged all to involve parties to partake in sustainable development to ensure transparency and accountability in the implementation process and called on Asian parliaments to contribute to national efforts to achieve sustainable development goals. It urged Asian parliaments to establish an Asian information center to provide reliable, scientific and independent data and analytical information on indicators of sustainable development. The committee also urged Asian parliaments to submit a report to the APA General Secretariat on the achievements made in the implementation of sustainable development goals. Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Hamedan, today opened the 11th General Recruitment Exhibition, which was held at the Ministry's premises with the participation of many companies and business owners. 70 private sector companies are providing 1,200 vacancies, in addition to 800 selected vacancies from the Ministry of Labour and Social Development for different academic specialists and qualifications. Minister Hamedan confirmed the Ministry's ongoing organisation of such events in order to speed up the process of employing citizens seeking jobs in addition to dealing with the numbers of fresh graduates. He added the number of jobs offered in the exhibition reflects improvement in marketing job opportunities and confirms fruitful cooperation between the ministry and the private sector which invest in the national human element. An agreement signing ceremony with the oil and gas holding company, Bahrain Airport Company, BAPCO, BAFCO, British Petroleum, Chevron and the recently established BAC Jet Fuel Company was held today with parties aiming towards a more streamlined operations process. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. Bahrain Jet Fuel Company and Bahrain Airport Company signed aviation fueling restructuring agreements at Bahrain Airport, resulting in a more streamlined and efficient aviation fuel supply, operation and maintenance process. The restructuring is part of the BIA's ongoing airport modernization. This is a collaboration with the Ministry of Transport, particularly the Bahrain Airport Company, and it's to extend the existing tank farms into the new airport, uh, and it's to structure the current uh, supply agreement. As you know, we have international partners supplying jet fuel in uh, Bahrain Airport, Chevron, BP, and Babco. These are the three companies that sell jet fuel. 
and uh, yeah, we're happy to see the expansion of the Bahrain airport underway and looking forward to uh, more volumes being sold and more number of planes uh, coming to the Bahrain International Airport. The combined aim is to streamline operations between the parties who share the common vision of safe, efficient, world-class aircraft fueling facilities and operations providing a positive shift, improving the industry as a whole. This is part of our uh, program to improve the operation of Bahrain International Airport. A decision has been taken by the cabinet to uh, move the current fuel tank in Arad to a location inside Bahrain International Airport and also take this opportunity to restructure and clarify the relation between the different commercial parties involved in managing uh, fuel supply to airlines. The agreement marks the turning point for Bahrain aviation industry, bringing together a wealth of local and international expertise in line with the leadership vision for a more effective and responsible aviation industry. The agreement marks another milestone for Bahrain, playing a key part in the aviation history in the kingdom. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.